In today's video, I'm taking a look at these TWS earbuds that were sent out to me from a company called Bluecom South Korea and made these, and their company, Xfit, makes the T90s right here. Now, these T90s have a runtime of about 10 hours, up to 10 hours, and you get an additional 14 from the case. They do support aptX, and this happened to be one of the best in terms of latency, so that annoying lag you typically get with video and audio, having the audio a split second behind, doesn't seem to exist with this particular pair here. And yes, from the title of this video, it is a giveaway because Bluecom, they did send me out two of them, one in white and one in black. Well, I kept this one sealed up because I will be giving this away. Uh, details of that down in the description of this video. So in this particular in-depth review, I'm gonna take a look at just how they sound, of course, the design, the build quality of these, microphone sample, what they like to wear, the comfort, any problems with, say, disconnections or the touch controls, all in this in-depth review. So this is what we get in the box. We've got a Type-C cable because these, of course, do have a Type-C port on them. It's a small cable and you just use your phone charger. So five volts, two amps, or one amp is all that's needed to charge these. Now we get some spare tips. Now these tips here, they give us two mediums and two smalls. We do get this instruction manual as well. And there's also a quick start guide just to go over really the touch controls with these ones. Now I find the touch controls on the T90s here to be a little bit hit and miss, but probably actually one of the better in terms of capacitive touch that is. So very basic there and you can trigger as well the assistant for Siri or Google Assistant. And they do have an application, which I will show you now. So this app is called Mate. You get it from the Play Store or Apple Store, so Google Play Store. That's where I got this one, of course, with my Android phone here. So it does have a global equalizer on it. So this is really handy to have. So if you're in a movie, watching a movie, I should say, and you're on Netflix or something like that, then this equalizer does come in handy for those apps that wouldn't have one otherwise. Now, under the settings, you will find this here too, that device settings there it is, device update. And there was a firmware update that I did get with this one. And I updated it. It just tweaks the sound quality and it could fix potential issues like disconnects. Now this case, very nice size. So this will fit in one of those small little jeans pockets. It might be a little bit tight, but it should fit in there. So the case itself will give us an additional 14 hours. The earbuds themselves are 10 on a single charge and I'm getting just over nine hours. So they probably tested with a lower volume than me. And that is to be expected. So they've got a, a silver metallic paint finish to them, which looks very good. Now there's another pair as well that they do sell that also come in white. Clearly labeled there left and right. And we do have these status LEDs. So you can see them on now green to tell me that yes, the car, the case is fully charged and there's a nice magnet keeps that lid closed. It's not gonna be shaking around. It doesn't rattle in anything either this case. So on the back, we also do have another status LED, which will be green to let you know that the case is fully charged. So if I open this again and close, see how that is now flashing to tell me, yes, I have a full charge here. So charge time of this case in the earbuds is around about an hour, uh, but if you charge it for 10 minutes, that will give you quite a bit of uh, time. I think it's about one hour, two hours of runtime just on the single 10 minutes there but most people would fully charge them. But if you were in a hurry, then there is that kind of quick charge feature there that does give you at least a bit there for a gym workout session or whatever. So when you pull them out, they will automatically pair up. And let's take a look at them. So we do have right at the bottom there, that is a tiny little microphone. There's two on each side there. And there'll be a sample later on with these microphones. And the air tips, they do have medium pre-installed for us. There's the Pokeport connector there for charging them, of course. And very good quality. They're clearly labeled. This is the right. There's no flaws with this build. There's no sharp edges. And overall, typical South Korean quality, really. So we'll take a look at the weight of the case with the earbuds inside. You can see it's just 41 grams. It's a very small size. And what about the earbuds too? So let's just weigh one of them just to get a gauge on the weight. Seven, six grams each, which is about the norm. They're normally about four and a half to five grams. So they are lightweight. 
Let's jump in now to just how they sound, of course. So these are really more expensive, well, than what I'm typically kind of reviewing. They're 60 to 70 US dollars that these were selling for, and they do sound very good. So they've got an excellent premium sound signature to them. The tune out of the box, if I was to criticize anything with it, I would say would be lacking a little bit in bass, but that can be easily fixed just going into your favorite app. So this is, of course... If you're new to this application, it's been around for years and years, power amp here, you can just boost up the lows a little bit. And I find with that little tweak, you can get these sounding pretty damn good. I'd say almost borderline fantastic. So vocals, very good on this. And it sounds like the soundstage that the singer is really quite towards you. Separation of individual instruments can be heard. And even increasing the low frequencies, then boosting up the volume, it still does deliver nice bass. However, the driver in this, I don't think is particularly large, and it's just not that super, super deep, powerful bass that some may be accustomed to. So huge bass lovers may feel that this one is lacking a little bit there. But really, I do feel they've gone for a very balanced tune. It's just that tiny area of criticism from me that maybe they could have just boosted up the bass a little bit. But it's easy to fix, of course, with your favorite equalizer. So one area that these really do excel for me is the latency. So that normal, typical delay we get between your visuals and then the audio lagging behind is just non-existent with this one. Now, Aptex, I've tried Aptex out on a lot of different TWS tech, and some of them still have a little bit of a delay, but these ones seem to be just absolutely perfect to me. YouTube, perfectly in sync with everyone's mouth. Amazon Prime Video, in sync. Netflix, perfect sync as well. Gaming, it seems to also be really good there. So these are very good in terms of being just absolutely super low latency, these ones. There's a sample from the microphone. So we've got one in each of the earbuds. And overall, I think the quality is, it's okay. It's acceptable. I've definitely heard many that are a lot worse than these ones. So if you plan to make a lot of voice calls, I think these ones are okay. Certainly not maybe the best out there. If you want even better than this kind of quality, then you need to really look for ones that have quad mics. I find the ones with quad mics normally do sound a little bit clearer if you plan to place a lot of voice calls, that is. It does have some active noise cancellation as well. Now onto our comfort. So I have worn these for hours on end and I'm not finding I'm getting any fatigue with them. I'm not getting any pain or pressure, nothing like that, which is very good. Now, I'm one of those people out there I think is a little bit lucky that with my ears at least, I am having no issues with the seal. So the mediums for me give me an excellent seal without any problems. You do get some passive noise reduction, which is great. Now the touch controls, and normally touch controls do not register every time for me when they're capacitive. The physical clicking ones that you get with the very expensive models that normally sell for well over 100 US dollars, they will work 100% of the time, but these ones are actually very good. So most of the time when I touch and use this, I would say it works nine out of 10 times. Now the microphone quality, is average leaning towards actually a little bit better than some of the other brands I've been testing. Some of them have very poor mics that you can't even actually really make out, people can't make out what I'm saying, they were so bad some of them, but these ones are good so you can play, place voice calls with them. Now the battery duration, you get up to acclaimed 10 hours. I'm seeing around about nine, just over nine hours with these at slightly higher volumes that I am using. Now let's talk too about the sound quality of these. I do think they sound excellent. Very good vocals, sound stage, you get some separation of the different instruments. The vocalist seems to come forward a little bit there. And I've also noticed that the bass is just the area where I can really quit criticize these, that out of the box tune, it does sound just a tad bit lacking in the bass there. Nothing you can't fix with an equalizer. And if you do push the volumes up really loud, really high, I've noticed no distortion on the bass. The bass hasn't messed around with the mids either, and that is good there. So overall, excellent sound quality, good comfort, good fit. Really, it is a quality product that they are selling here for the price of 60, I think it's 70 US dollars. I feel is not actually a bad deal at all with what you're getting with these. And I love the case size. This thing is just so nice and small, and the type C's charging, the quick charging as well you get with it. Now, if you'd like a pair of these yourself, because they did send me out two of them, one in white and one with the silver gray color, but of course I'm using these ones. But this seal box here, I will be giving away, so there's a link in the description of this video if you're interested in winning a pair of these, I will post them out, and that will be a worldwide, no problem, because such a small package, it shouldn't be an issue for me to do that. So thank you for watching, and I do hope to see you back in the next one. Bye for now.